I'm Pierce Alexander Lilholt, and if I know one thing, it's podcast comedians. That's right. I know all there is to know about podcast comedians. Some consider me to be an expert on podcast comedians. Others consider me the world's foremost authority on podcast comedians. And I'll say this about that. A lot of them ain't funny. <laughs> They're just mean. And and I'm not saying this so in some attempt to be featured on anybody's podcast because they won't feature me. Here's why. Because I'm not weak. And that's what a lot of these comedians are doing. I'm not going to point any fingers. They, they know who they are. They're weak. And they're not going to mess with me because I ain't weak. But they're messing with all these people. They're just finding a YouTube video. They're doing something. And then they're making fun of people. And, I mean, there were radio hosts before. And I don't want to point any fingers, but I'm going to say there were radio hosts before who would bring people on their radio shows and make fun of them. And that's just, it's low class. You got no class if you're doing that. It's it's a weak move, and I find that to be pathetic. I also find it to be highly unusual that people are comfortable watching, supporting, and and finding humor in some of this stuff because it seems to me to be a lot like bullying. You have these, frankly, unimpressive and somewhat, in some cases, pathetic comedians. There are funny comedians, but a lot of them don't base their comedy on preying on the weaknesses of others. They just don't do this. They, they write jokes, they do funny stuff, and they work hard at being funny. And those comedians, I got a lot of respect for them. I love that they're making people laugh. Making people laugh in the world's great. And there's there are some podcast comedians who do work hard at their comedy and keep doing that. You got to if you're going to be if you're going to be anything, you got to be good at it. And being good at something by by bringing other people down. Well, then you're not good at it. Sorry. You you alone are nothing. With, without people to make fun of, who are you? And what do you do? You don't do anything. You provide zero value. You make fun of people? Wow. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. So, what kind of person would do this? Well, for starters, somebody weak and somebody who's probably insecure. They're going to say, hey, you know what makes me forget about my own insecurities, making fun of other people, being mean, being a bully. And I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's, I don't think it's anything that, that I'd be proud to say I did. And if you're not proud of the work you do, and, and maybe they're proud because they make money. And just because you made money doing something, that does not mean you're successful. If you make money making fun of other people, sorry. <laughs> I'm not impressed. I don't care how much money you have. You, if you made all that money by, by pointing out people's weaknesses or how vulnerable they are or how, how dumb they are, or whatever this is. That's why I'm not making this video to call anybody out here. But you guys have all seen these, these podcasts and these comedians who are, are just making fun of other people. They're not really trying to have a discussion, and a lot of times they might have a panel. So the, the podcast might bring in a couple more bullies. So now it's like, okay, hey, let's team up on, on whoever it is we're making fun of. So in case you didn't have enough material rattling around in that leadless pencil up there, You just let somebody else take over, tag team. And that's that just shows, when, when you see a panel like that, it just shows the weakness of, first of all, you're not even funny enough to own this and do it yourself. 
And I know, you know, cracking jokes. If somebody wants to make fun of me, it's it could be funny. Because as I'm not weak, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be gutted by that. Somebody said I look like a, a meatball that fell under the fridge. A hairy meatball fell under the fridge for a few years. Okay, that was funny. I'll give them that. I'll never forget that one. It was one of the better uh, it's one of the better little jabs I've gotten. Now, you say that to somebody who might be self-conscious about the way they look. Maybe they, I don't know, had had some reason to not take that well. And you don't know who's going to take this well. Like, I took that very well, actually. I, I totally, I embody that that rib that's that's meatball that's <laughs> my body spoke's name the meatball in spanish amoniga but if it was something you know something that that you even had a risk of affecting somebody you know for no real reason other than other than it's going to maybe further your career at their expense and maybe there's going to be other people out there who are feeling like they need to join the gang here's this panel of people i want to be part of i want to be part of the people making fun of other people because i don't want to get made fun of and that's a lot of times how bullying and things like this works. I'm not going to stick up for the person being bullied because I don't want I don't want to risk being bullied. Oh, I I don't like bullies. So I'd be like, "Hey, listen, whatever you were doing here, well, now you got to do it double cuz now so now you got to bully me too. And I don't take kindly to being bullied." <laughs> Actually, um, I'm not a fan of it, but I usually am kind of a fan of it. If somebody does try to bully me, I do typically find that to be rather entertaining because typically, typically if somebody engages in a battle of wits and they're unarmed, well, let me tell you, it can be comical. And, and I, I'm not opposed to, I'm not opposed to somebody making a fool of themselves, but them trying to make fools of other people who, who are trying their hardest and maybe what they're doing is, you know, it's, not flattering, could be even borderline cringeworthy, or it's embarrassing. We don't need to go and point this out. We don't need to go and say, hey, what you do is embarrassing. Let's have a panel discussion about this and make fun of you. Because I'm not going to say it's unprofessional because I don't know, I don't understand, I, I don't claim to be in the comedy profession. Maybe that's the round table the brainstorming session, but they make that very public at, um, at times. And, and why, what, why would you do this? Is it solely for money? If it's for money, what are you using the money for? Are you doing something really good with it? Are you, I don't know, saving your dying grandmother who needs an operation, you got to come up with the money and you need to make fun of some people and hurt some people's feelings in order to do it. Okay, I could understand. But if you're just making fun of people to make fun of them to, I don't know, yeah, buy a new hat or something, well, I'm, I'm confused by your motives. And anybody who's doing a podcast like that where they base all of their content on making fun of people and finding videos or relying on their community of 
their little gang to to find content for them to to populate the content of their show well come up with something on your own figure it out do what a real comedian does and there are plenty of real comedians and i have a lot of respect for that i think it's not just entertainment it's an art form and i think the best comedians are they have to be wildly um creative and and they and they're i mean they're probably for the most part pretty smart and even these people who are making fun of everybody you know if they do it in a manner which is which is highly literate and they're and they're speaking well i could see this coming across as some some value added lesson on how to make fun of people but there are better things to learn than how to make fun of people and watching these podcasts if it's for entertainment i'm just not understanding what's funny and and i like to laugh so if i'm not laughing and i'm just cringing and and watching disturbing footage and disturbing pathetic weak individuals try to be bullies like that's not exactly my form of entertainment. I also don't like to watch videos of people being, you know, murdered and dismembered or killed or, you know, disgusting videos or things like this. It's not something that I find to be highly entertaining. And if I only have a, a short amount of time, I want to watch something that I find entertaining or educational or something that that makes me feel good. So if you're watching and supporting these, um, these bully comedians, just consider, how does it make you feel? If it makes you feel good and you're not doing anything bad, then keep doing it. Watch whatever you want to watch and just don't become a bully yourself. Oh yeah.